What up, everybody? It is Crypto Moose, and the moose is loose. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, but only if you enjoy this episode. If I don't impress you, then, you know, don't don't leave me a tip. Don't, uh, don't subscribe, right? Uh, it's definitely going to be up to you. So now you know who I am. I want to know who you are. Um, definitely comment down below if you've been watching for a while. Um, and also put down below what else you would like to see us cover here on the channel. So today we're talking about thinking in 10 year terms, uh, specifically the Bitcoin halving. Um, and this is a very big topic. Um, I've, I've experienced what one, one, one real halving and that was about three years ago. Um, so that was pretty big. That would have been a great time to get into the market not long ago, but the Bitcoin having what that means is that the amount of Bitcoin, the new Bitcoin, the new supply that get distributed to the Bitcoin miners gets cut in half. So you can imagine that, um, you know, uh, if you think in inflation terms, you know, let's say four Bitcoin get distributed to crypto miners, right? So if you get rewarded with the with the blocks that you mint, um, let's just say that Bitcoin will become twice as scarce in terms of the new supply. Um, so going forward, it's going to be that much harder to get your hands on the new supply of Bitcoin. And people don't take that into consideration because ultimately scarcity is what adds a lot of value. If everybody could easily get a notebook, then which we can, then it's not very scarce, right? It's not that hard to get a notebook. It's not that hard to get a pen. Right. Um, but how many, let's see, how many, um, you know, gold bars are there in comparison to, you know, how many pieces of paper there are, right? It's very easy to print a piece of paper, right? But to get gold, you have to mine it. You have to find it. It's scarce. It's not just everywhere, right? You can't just cut down a tree, so to speak. Um, it's probably not the best analogy, but whatever. Um, but you get the idea, right? There's, there is, um, there's a lot to think about in terms of scarcity, right? Like if you want to get a six pack, right? If you want to get in really good shape, have a six pack, well, it's scarce. Not everybody has one. That's because it's rare, right? It's hard to get. Um, same with Bitcoin. It's going to be harder to get. So it's going to become more desirable, right? Something that is unique, that is hard to get, that is scarce, at the end of the day, is going to be desirable. It's going to be worth more money. So, Bitcoin, 23,800 USD. If we look at the all time, okay? Now, here's the idea of the four year cycle, the Bitcoin having, right? So, let's say 2017, okay? Look what happened. We went from 1,000 to 19,000. Okay, four years later, kind of stagnant, boom, 60,000. And we kind of have this double top, but now we're down again. What do you think is going to happen in 2024? We're in 2023, having is in 2024. Do the math. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen? I think it's going to be more scarce. I think it's going to be worth a lot more. I do. I don't know for sure, but that would be my guess. Um, look at housing. Look at other markets. Um, and the other thing is Bitcoin is getting more decentralized. It's getting more secure every day. Every day. Every day more people are getting involved. You know, the more governments print money, the more, the more you know, it, it costs to purchase good assets. So that's something to think about. It's no joke. Um, so again, you could read these charts on the side, but it's just whatever. Um, I don't know if there's anything on having here, but that's basically the idea, right? Like you think about the having. So here you go. As of mid-September 2021, the Bitcoin mining reward is capped at 6.25 BTC, Bitcoin. After the 2020 halving, which is roughly 300,000 in Bitcoin price today. So what they're just getting at is 
Bitcoin becomes that much more scarce and desirable. And that's because of the halving, right? Because the amount of Bitcoin that gets distributed to miners is cut in half every four years. And that's part of what makes Bitcoin so so um, scarce and, and desirable. It's going to be harder to get. Trust me, think about 2028. Um, I don't, I probably should have looked it up. That's my, that's my fault. But um, at the end of the day, let's say it's three Bitcoin, then 1.5. And 0 0.75, 0 0.35, or whatever the math is. Um, and then you have 0. Point, you know, it just gets exponentially more difficult. So it's something to think about. Think about the having. Let me know in the in the in the comments down below. Um, what do you think the price of Bitcoin will be in 2028? That's what I'm thinking. Um, because I don't really care personally to see, you know, I'm probably I'm not gonna sell crypto. Um, for a while, like my, I'm thinking in four, eight, at least 10 year terms, really. Um, so definitely comment down below. Um, but that's, that's basically the point of the video, right? It's 10 year terms. Think in 10 year terms. You could even call this think in four year terms, right? Think in having cycles. So let's keep this a short video. Ultimately, I think Bitcoin is still going to be the clear winner. Um, it may not appreciate the most. That will be... I assume Cardano, but the next run, I really believe Kopi. I'm on record saying this, February 16, 2023, Kopi is going to go from a penny to a dollar. So that's all we have for you. We'll see you in the next one. Oh, first, first, we have online courses on sale. So check it out. We have links in the description below. 80% off. Use coupon code MOOSESLOOSE. NFT course, crypto investing course for beginners, in a 10 day video, um, in a 10 day cryptocurrency challenge. So if it's not your keys, it ain't your cheese.